Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I'm going to be showing you guys something spooky that happens if you decide to go to the tiny church in the swamp. And we'll also be looking at another encounter that I've never seen before, which is actually kind of cool. So I've been getting a lot of messages over the last few days. Mr. Boss, where are all the Red Dead Redemption 2 videos? Uh, trust me, guys, I am not done at all with Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online for that matter. In fact, I've actually got a Red Dead Online video coming out later today that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like there's sort of a lull right now. We have done so many Red Dead Redemption 2 videos here on the channel, and I'm kind of at the point where I don't know how much more I can explore, test, or figure out. Now, as always, if you guys want to share any secrets or cool mysteries that I should check out, my Facebook page is in the description. I'm always looking at those messages and interacting with you guys. But we've just covered so much that it seems like it's slowing down just a bit. And as far as Red Dead Online goes, we're all anxiously awaiting until the summer update. But until that happens, there's not a ton happening there either. So yes, of course, my focus has shifted a bit towards Grand Theft Auto V and GTA Online with the ever anxiously awaited casino update, but Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to remain a staple here on the channel, so don't worry about that. It's not going anywhere. Now, let's talk about what I think is pretty spooky, and that is the tiny church. Now, in and of itself, the tiny church is very interesting. It's located in the middle of the swamps. And as I'm sure you guys know by now, this area is generally just pretty creepy. Uh, it's got like this voodoo vibe going on. There's night folk all over the place. And like I mentioned earlier, we've actually checked out the tiny church in a previous video. I took the Sandini vampire here to see what would happen. And I don't want to spoil it, but it was pretty interesting. So if you are interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description to that video as well. We actually brought the Sandini vampire here and... What happened was pretty shocking. Now, regardless, this is the first time that I'm checking it out on this save. And if you go as Arthur, he will scribble it down in his journal and he will write a very small church for a very small congregation. And it literally looks like just a shrunken down version of a normal church. If you go inside, you will find uh, there are pews where people would sit. There looks to be a cross. There looks to be some candles, a Bible or holy book, whatever the case is. Now, interestingly enough, if you shoot inside of the church, you'll actually get negative honor. I think like every grave and every church in game has like the same priority where if you shoot that you'll get negative honor. So I don't think it's specific to the tiny church. But regardless, you, we've seen this in previous videos. Nothing too special here. There's nothing on the inside that's all that unique. However, if you go to this specific location next to the church... In fact, it's actually right next to this tree with this voodoo symbol. You'll actually hear the bell on top ringing, even though there's no one there. Take a listen to this right here. Okay, so that was pretty spooky, right? You guys could totally hear the bell was ringing. Now, it was faint, but it only happens when you're standing by that tree with the very weird, like, voodoo symbol. Now, if you get on top of the tiny church, we can, number one, check out what the bell looks like. But also, number two, you can, like, make the bell ring if you were to actually shoot at it. And you can see the bell physically swaying back and forth, and it makes an audible chime. But that also confirms that no one is there and no one is operating it. So again, let's go back to that same voodoo tree and we can hear it happening again.
Okay, so that's kind of spooky. Now, I've got a couple of theories for what might be happening here. The first theory is that it's some sort of ghost or spirit, especially because we're dealing with the church here and we're located in the middle of the swamp. Maybe it's the spirits of this tiny church that are continuously ringing the bell because it looks like it's been abandoned for quite some time now. That's my first theory. The second theory is a little bit less exciting, and that is that because it's a church and because there's a bell tower there, Rockstar automatically sort of programs a bell sound to sort of add to the ambience of the world. We know that Rockstar wanted to make Red Dead Redemption 2 as hyper-realistic as possible, so adding bell sounds like that when there is a church or a bell tower nearby would make a lot of sense. So now that we've discovered that that happens at this location, I wanted to see if I could hear the exact same thing at night. So what I did is I set up camp, we slept until the middle of the night, and we returned to the church, and I went to that exact same spot, and believe it or not, I could not hear the bell ringing. So I don't know if it was the time of day, I don't know if it occurs only at certain hours, but I was standing right next to the same tree, couldn't hear that bell ringing. Now, if anything, I thought for sure that doing this during the night would lead to a much more spookier encounter, but it turns out that that's actually the opposite, that this bell only happens to ring during the day. Now, I'm not sure if it was a specific time of the day because I actually came back again and I noticed that it was happening at another hour, so I don't think there's anything interesting about the particular time of day, it just happens during the day. So because I found this to be kind of spooky and interesting, I thought to myself, wait a minute, I know of another similar church that's located just outside of Shady Bell. So I was wondering if the same thing would happen there. However, I noticed that when I arrived for the first time, it was occupied by Lemoyne Raiders. And when I showed up, they were having an interesting conversation. Wish someone come. Tired of sitting in this heap already, moldering waste that it is. Bet this old church was pretty in the day, before the usurpers got their hands on it. Wasn't the blues. We were stored in powder here. Someone dropped a Lucifer and that was that. They weren't the traitors? I guess we wouldn't have had powder there, they hadn't been no war. And that feller wouldn't have dropped his match. I hate that scum. They ruined everything. Uh, better keep your eyes open. Anyone comes sightseeing, they get in the Lemoyne welcome. So I guess that gives us some interesting backstory on what happened to this abandoned battlefield church is that it was actually used as a storage facility for dynamite or TNT or gunpowder and someone dropped a match and they blew it all up. So what I did is I came here, I invaded their little fortress, and I ended up killing all of them. Now, I actually found something that I had never seen before. It was a document called Lemoyne Raider's Letter. I had never found this before, believe it or not. So uh, I recommend looting all the guys there. You'll actually get some pretty good stuff. And I wanted to check out the letter as well to see what it had to say. And it is a note on the recruitment of young Southern men to the cause. And it says, William, I am writing to let you know our raids against the Jayhawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a God who loved us. But today I have a glimmer of hope that they call us Lemoyne Raiders. Bushwhackers and border ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of northerners set on changing our way of life. I hope you will continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Lemoyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It is always darkest before the dawn. Sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. So an interesting letter. Not really too sure how it relates to our video, but kind of interesting. Now, at this location, you don't even have to be far away to hear the bell ringing. Again, after reading that message, I could very clearly hear the bell going off. Take a listen to this. So it's weird. At this location, even though the bell tower isn't moving, 
it's still producing that sound. So I think that means my first theory is correct and that Rockstar just program all churches and bell towers to work that way, which is certainly a little bit less fun than I had imagined. But regardless, if you do go here, even though you won't find anything haunted about it, I definitely, like I said, recommend looting all the Lemoyne Raiders. And there's also three lockboxes in here. The first lockbox I got contained a large jewelry bag, which I think can be sold for $50. That's quite nice. The second one had a lot of goodies too. It had a money clip of $15, some jewelry, and a pocket watch. And the final one had, I think, three bill folds of $20. So $60, $50, couple of extra things you get there. It's well over $100 that you get just from sort of raiding and looting this building. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Some interesting and spooky stuff. I'm telling you, the swamps, I do not like the swamps. There's always something spooky and creepy going on there. And uh, we also learned about the backstory of the abandoned church and how lucrative it can be if you've never visited there. But like I said, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.